The Class from the Black Lagoon, story by Mike Taylor. It's the first day of school, and I have a new class coming in one hour. I heard they're really weird, and that they put their last three teachers into early retirement. I also heard that when the class gets to school, they all turn into horrible ghouls, and they emit odd odors and make strange sounds. Some grow two noses so they can pick them at the same time. They love scratch and sniff. I heard that some have orange hair, some have green hair, some have purple hair, and some have no hair. They're great at making horrible faces. They can roll their eyeballs back into their heads, so only the whites are showing. And some can cover both their noses with their lips and wiggle their ears. They can wrap their bodies in and around their chairs so tightly that sometimes they have to be pried off with crowbars. One teacher said they tie themselves to their desk with their shoelaces. I guess it's a safety precaution. I heard they eat crayons, chalk, and erasers. They drink ink, chew pencils, love to mumble, and tear paper into tiny little bits. They also make spitballs the size of cannon balls. But the thing they're best at making is noise. They're all virtuosos with velcro and drummers with pencils. Every part of their bodies is a musical instrument. Put it all together, and you have a symphony orchestra. Their other area of expertise is excuses. My grandma ate my homework. We were late because the school bus was attacked by pirates. And they're always late when they come to school, but they only come when they have highly contagious diseases. When they're healthy. They stay home. In class, they're always waving their hands in the air to go to the bathroom or to give silly answers like, "What's George Washington's last name?" Bridge. They do love to write. They write on their desk. They write on the walls, and they write on each other. The only thing they don't write on is their papers. Instead of dotting their eyes and crossing their teeth, they cross their eyes and dot their teeth. There are other things about school they love: pestering teachers, poking peers, and using the electric pencil sharpener. They call it Mister Shred. And he runs all day because they break their points on purpose just to use him over and over and over again. At the end of the day, I'll be standing waist deep in pencil shavings. Oh my! It's almost eight o'clock. I'd better check my survival kit: helmet, hockey pads, earplugs. Well, I guess I'm ready. Here they come! Wow! They're all cherry and clean, and each one has only one nose. Here's an apple and some flowers, Mrs. Green. Well, thank you, class. The flowers were picked from the front of the school, and the apple had sixteen bites out of it. But hey, no one's perfect. It's the thought that counts. I'm going to love this class. The end.